for this reason, that these writers, these painters, uh, these craftsmen essentially, uh, were looking at this new land. And in the 19th century, a number of painters like Thomas Hill on the left of Yosemite Valley, or Sanford Gifford of Catterskills Falls on the right, painted these acres of canvas uh, depicting the importance of America. It was the last continent. It was for this reason that Barclay, Bishop Barclay said, uh, westward the course of empire takes its way. Time's noblest heaven will be the last. The arts moving like the sun from the oldest civilizations of Egypt, Greece, and Rome through the Renaissance of Europe, then to France and England in the 18th century under the Georges and the Louis, and finally to America. This was, in many people's view, uh, the world's last chance. The importance, of, it seems to me, of looking at these arts and these objects is to understand something of this transition, and maybe all ages are, are transition with ages, but nonetheless, the settlement of America was in this transition of the world from the late twilight medievalism into the <coughs> dawn of modernism. It was the age of exploration. It was the age of unsettlement. Uh, it would be Stephen Vincent Benet who once said that the settlement of America came from the unsettlement of Europe. An England of Bess of Hardwick, who built this great house, Hardwick Hall, uh, a lantern house, built 500 years ago in the 1590s, uh, a lantern house because she used more glass than stone in it, showing off her wealth. And one of her famous visitors there at the end of the Elizabethan era, Elizabeth herself, uh, in this portrait, the uh, Shrewsbury portrait that still hangs at Hardwick Hall. An England that was in transition, largely because of a material product, wool. The wool trade resulted in the enclosure of England, and it was wool that became the medium of exchange with the Iberian Peninsula in the wine trade. And it was this enclosure that threw many of the people off the land. Like these reapers and uh, harvesters, painted by the great horse painter, uh, George Stubbs. Uh, I show it not only because of the period being an age of transition and change, when these peasants were being thrown off the land, there were people who were starving for land. Uh, land was short in England at that time. Uh, and these would be the people who would migrate to America, people who were searching for land, <coughs> land like that we saw in these Hudson River School painters. Uh, but it was also what we call a pre-modern period. That is, time was measured not by the clock, but by the rising and setting of the sun, by the seasons, by the length of the Ave Maria, or the length of the sermon, or the flight of the woodcock. And this makes it very difficult to understand this era. It was an era that's pre-modern, it was pre-industrial, uh, it was pre, uh, essentially, the time clock era. And for that reason, I think it's hard for us to understand what was going on in this era. An era of exploration and change. An era in which these people essentially uh, were looking for new continents at that period.